Hi there! So today is going to be kind of a fun tutorial and this is just to demonstrate something that's a bit more fun and a bit more creative. This is actually a brief um, that was given by a designer that I'm working with on Friday for a show and it was kind of Barbie inspired and um, this is what we've come up with. Hope you like it! Okay so I've obviously got one eye done already and I'm just going to show you how I did this one and this one. So I started off with the primer potion that I used before and like I said I just use this because it just helps to keep the eyeshadow in place and I trust it and that kind of thing and then uh, I used an eyeshadow from this palette here the Manly palette which I got from eBay actually and I got this when I first started out because I needed access to lots of different colours and it was probably the cheapest way that I could do it at the time but it's got lots of colours in I'll show you there and there's some more on the other side so I'm just going to start by applying um, one of the colours to the centre of the eyelid and I'm going to use a combination of I don't know if I can show you on that this one here and this one here hope you can see those and I'm just going to apply these tap a bit off on the back of my hand and I'll just cut close so you can see I'm just going to apply this right in the centre here and leave the edges free because I'll be building the black into the rest of it back in a little bit more and just lift it up a little bit further up here so it's making my eyelid in particular look a little bit deeper because it's not very deep okay and I did that with a MAC 239 and then I started with a black so I started with putting the shape in with this one here which is black tied MAC colour and I just did this on my Louise Young brush that I've used before which is like a, a crease work brush so I'm just dipping the very end of that brush in the black and I'm going to start to create the rough outline of the shape so this one starts here and comes up into the side of the nose a little bit more and into this shape here. So this is just the rough shape that I'm creating at the moment. And with this same colour I'm going to just start working in this shape at the top here. So it follows, it's a little bit of an exaggerated lid. It just follows this side round here and then again bring this in at the corner here to create that shape back over a little bit more so if you can see that's the basic outline of the shape that I had before. First of all I'm just going to take a MAC 217 and blend this out lightly. Just so that I know where I'm creating the shape from. I want to just keep moving this out ever so slightly. Okay, so I want to blend the pink and the black more together but I don't want it looking really blended because it wants to be quite um, a striking difference. So I'm just going to do this by patting here. I'm not particularly dragging it, I'm just, um, I'm just patting the colours together. like so. And I 
go back and add some more. So for a little bit more of a dense black, I'm going back to the Manly palette and I'm using this one just here. And I'm just going to use the Louise Young brush again, go back in but with just with the very tip and I'm knocking off as much as I can. And I go back in to go over this shape here. I'm not too worried if anything falls underneath. I have put um, the Chanel Pro Lumiere in 40 all over because I want this look to be a lot more tanned, a lot darker than I am. Um, and I've left it loose and fluid underneath so I can just wipe away anything extra. And just keep running backwards and forwards till I've built quite a bit more colour in there. And now I'm going to go back with the 217 and really start to move this upwards. So just in very small motions, just start. And I'm really trying not to go anywhere near this clear line that I've put in here. Because I want to keep that quite definite. And bring it in at this corner here. So it's quite high here and it comes down at this side. Just keep slightly taking away this edge. 